Hey, so what's going on, JGL family? And welcome to another video. So, as promised, I said I was going to start going to different locations. I'm going to roll my windows up. Just give me a second. All right, y'all should be able to hear me better. So I said I was going to different locations, right? I was going to go, go to different locations and see what the community got going on. And um, I found something. I found something. So market event. So there's supposed to be a whole bunch of vendors out here from the community who are involved in making different things and, and a part of different organizations. And we're just going to put um, see what they got going on and check the atmosphere out today. You know, I always was always uh, I learned a long time ago that the best creative ideas don't come from sitting inside a house. Uh, the best creative ideas from trying new things. So this is going to be new to me and I'm going to try it out. See what's going on in the neighborhood. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So this is Tasting Queens, right? Mm -hmm. Taste, mm -hmm. All right. Tasting Queens Market. Um, so yeah, so I'm Chef Shauna with uh, Taste and Queens Market and we offer Caribbean influenced uh, gourmet products. So hot sauces, marinades, barbecue sauces, spice blends, a uh, wide line of teas, loose box, um, and then we do things like curry powders, jollof rice mixes. So all of your Caribbean Afro diaspora uh, inspired uh, gourmet foods, we create them and we bring you the flavor really quickly. Uh, so yeah, that's what we do. All right, so I'm, I'm, gonna, have to get, I'm gonna have to purchase something from you. Uh, thank you. Okay, so what I was explaining to her was, as I'm doing this plant-based diet, life, lifestyle, right? What would be some good flavors to season my food with, especially all my vegetables like uh, my zucchini and squash? So what do you recommend? So first, the good news is 99% of my products are vegan and gluten sensitive. So you can add any of the spice blends uh, with confidence that you're not adding any um, animal protein or anything like that. Okay. In. But there's a couple of options. I have one called a put it on everything spice. So this one is my version of an all-purpose. Okay. All the flavors in there work really well in vegetables. But um, I will say I have a, uh, actually this one, the Caribbean chicken spice. It says chicken spice, but it's really, really great on vegetables. So this is coriander, thyme, uh, there's uh, lemon in here, there's marjoram, so it really goes well on anything, especially vegetables, so that's, a, I would say... Okay, let me get that. <laughs> I would say this one would be a good choice. Yes, yeah, let me get that. Yeah, grab it for you. Yeah, so you can, even the hot sauces are all vegan as well. All right, what's your name again? I'm Chef Shauna with Taste in Queens Market. All right, y'all, y'all got the information. Come yeah. check it out. Sure. Yeah. So there's rose in there, there's viola, there's uh, calendula, and marigold. It's kind of just it infuses that flavor into the sauce. So if you'd like to try it, I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so as you, you can see, like, the, the flowers kind of come out with the salt a little bit, and that flavor is kind of in the salt. With it. It's, a high bit, uh, it's a Himalayan sea salt, this one. How much is it? They're 10. Okay, I think I'd like to get one. Sure. Are they all the same like mixture? These are all the same mixture. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Cool. Is card? Yep. Yeah. And we got a hibiscus salt. It's mm -hmm. a sweet flavor to the salt. It's really good for steaks and fish. Tastes great? Yep, that's great. Now, what about vegetables and things like that? Uh, for vegetables, we have a flower salt. Uh, so it has rose petals, it has marigold, it has calendula in there. Let me the try that one. Sea salt is kind of is really yep. good. Yeah, on let me try that too. one. I'm gonna get that one. Yep. That Thank one's you. just so fun, you know, with all the different flowers in it. Uh huh. I like yep. that. And the herb sea salt has. Uh, so this is a fine sea salt, so you don't need the grinder on it. And uh, it has um, oregano, it has thyme, it has basil, it has chives. And that kind of just infuses that flavor into the salt, so when you throw it onto your salad or onto your meal, it kind of adds that like spicy flavor to it. That, and what's your location? Where, where are you located? We're located right here in Apex on uh, New Hope Church Road. Thank you, sir. Yep. I didn't record it. I'm sorry. Okay. One more time. <laughs> That's embarrassing. All right. One more time, buddy. 
about the blacksmith. Okay, I'm a, a blacksmith and a glass blower, and both gla glass and, and iron work about the same temperature range between 1800 and 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and what is your where is your location? Uh, I have a forge at my house. We also work at the state the blacksmith shop at the state fairgrounds. Glass blowing, we blow out of a public access studio in Durham called Liberty Arts. All right, man. Hey, we, man. Thank you, man. This is nice, y'all. Yeah. All right, have a good one. You too. What's your name? My name is Javon. 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 Yes, nice, nice to meet you. Javon. Nice to meet you. Shrimp and grits sauce okay. on the market. This pre-made, and uh, you simply pour it into a pan, mm -hmm. and you add vegetable or chicken broth okay. to it, and um, cook it till it's smooth. And then you throw in your grits, not your grits, your shrimp, excuse me. Oh, so shrimp is not actually in the sauce? No, no, okay. shrimp's not in the sauce. Okay. So you throw your raw shrimp in and you cook it for three minutes and then pour it over your grits that you've cooked separately. Okay. And you've got shrimp and grits 30 minutes or less. Um, question, um, it, what's, is this like, so I'm just, just curious, is there any other things you can use it besides grits? Oh, absolutely. Okay. You can use it on pasta, uh, people use it over chicken, uh, you can use it on rice, cauliflower rice. So there's several other things you can use it over. Okay, and what's the location? Uh, we don't actually have a location. We are online, online. on the website, okay. and there's a couple stores in the area that carry it. Alrighty, and I'm going to take a picture of this. Okay, so okay would you like a sample? Sure. Now, is any, it does no meat or anything in here, is it? Just shrimp. Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. Uh -huh. No, I should have look. Let, I'm gonna keep this. Okay. I no, should have said something. No problem. But thank you, honey. Okay. All right. You're welcome. All right, y'all be good. Yeah, so okay. Yep. So, Whoops. I don't. Oh, still recording. Okay. So where you guys from? Zebulon. Zebulon. Okay. All right. And I would like to purchase this. Sorry for this thing here. So, like I was telling the young lady here and gentlemen. Right, that my dog has allergies, and these are organic. We use organic coconut flour, mm -hmm. but not all the fruit and vegetables are organic. But okay. they are all gluten free, and they're all green free except for my banana oat and my minty freshers. All right, thank you guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're welcome. All right, buddy, tell us something about yourself. Okay, so we're Joyfield Foods, we're out of Goldsboro, North Carolina, and um, we make lots of different. Uh, snack products, mainly nut-based, like maple glazed pecans, honey glazed pecans, mm. um, honey sriracha cashews, those kind of things. We make some cheese straws, some snack mixes, lots of different things. Uh, okay. In the fall, winter, we've got chocolate stuff. Okay. Um, and we've got a mission behind our company, so part of our proceeds go to some charities that support children. That's good. Uh, children. Um, some a couple of local ones and one international. That's good. Yeah. Okay, man. It looks really good, man. Thank you. All right, um, yeah, you can find us uh, on, online at joyfieldfoods.com. You can learn more about our charities and, and even order online. Hey, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Young lady, what's your name? Hi, my name is Jamie Tria Anderson, and I'm the owner of Love Janae, mm -hmm. where I have a hair and body line. Um, I started making um, natural hair products oh, many years ago okay. when I stopped being a product junkie and realized that I needed less ingredients but that were healthy for my hair and scalp that will make my hair grow. Makes sense. Yes, so I started with some, well what I have now is a moisturizing hairspray. Okay. Oh, oh you want to smell it? Oh, you have oh, to yeah, smell yeah, yeah. it. I gotta smell it, I gotta smell it. So this is my conditioning spray. You Good. can spray it too. It's gonna condition, mm, it's gonna moisturize. That smells good. Thank you. Hey y'all, take my word for it, it smells good. <laughs> And I have a simulated scalp oil. That Now that oil is infused with amla and fenugreek. Okay. So it's going to simulate hair growth. It's going to treat split ends and your hairline. Okay. And then I have my baby, which is an all over body moisturizer. Oh, really? It's for, yes. Now this is, this is gold. Okay. This is liquid gold for your hair and your okay. body. Okay. So you can use this in your hair and on your body. Okay. It's made with jojoba oil and lavender. And then I have emulsified body scrubs that's going to exfoliate and moisturize at the same time so it's going to create a light lotion on your skin as you're exfoliating the dead skin cells okay. and then i have body oils um that's my sexy sexy body oils because you use those as massage oils or just an overall body moisturizer really? yes they really they smell good They're, you have the sexy scents that make you want to just mm -mm -mm. yeah but yeah it's all it's all made by me Okay, okay. Yep. All right, thank you, ma'am. Thank you.
All right, y'all, so it's a whole vibe out here. Um, there's a lot of people doing a lot of different things. Um, the people that I showed you was really, um, you know, what I was interested in, and I maybe sound selfish, but um, a lot of other things really wasn't like, but for me, it wasn't that interesting, but the point is, you got, what's in, not interesting to me is interesting to other people. But um, it got too hot, that's why I'm cutting this thing short, but hey, man, it's a real nice vibe out here. Check it out. And the thing about it is people from all over are bringing in, um, doing different things. I got this one, met this one sister you just watched, man. She got all the natural products for hair oil, body scrub. One brother, he was, you know, with the glazed peanuts. Um, everybody's just doing different things, man, and it's, and it's really cool. So, um, shoot, that's it, man. I got to go to Whole Foods now and get some charcoal for detox reasons. Yeah, look that up, detox reasons. But anyway, that's it, man. Hey, JGL family, stay tuned. More videos like this is to come. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, you know, this is a way that, you know, we can give back to the community. We, uh, and, and the prices wasn't high. You know, most of the time, that's another thing if I get off. Most of the time, people, when they selling their products, their prices be super high. And none of these prices were super high. I guarantee you, if you had like a spare hundred dollars, you could come out with a lot of stuff. Listen, support your communities, man. Support small businesses. Um, these are the people that that are um, out here trying to be entrepreneurs. And then I look at it like this: when you trying to grow, you want people to support you. So when they're growing, support them also. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Until next time, peace.